One of the things that styles let you do is make some changes to text that you have in your document and then save that as a style selection. So you have your very own styles that you can then add to not only the document you're working on, but you can even save a style so that's available in all new documents that are based on this template. In this case, this is based on the normal template. So this can be essentially available in every document from here going forward. And I'll show you how this works. First of all, let's select some text and then we'll go to the font selection and we'll just change some of the font options here. So click on the font icon in the font grouping here on the home tab and let's do this. Let's add uh, a shadow and let's change the font to Arial to 16 point font, a uh, little shadow and we'll change the font color to green. So how about that? So click on OK. We can also change some paragraph elements as well. So let's go ahead and do that now. Again, we'll just set the insertion point and in the paragraph, since this will apply to the paragraph, we'll just center the text. And so, fine. I could have opened the paragraph dialog box as well, but just want to get the idea by first adding a shadow and then by centering the text. Now let's go to the styles grouping here of the home tab. Let's click on our drop down menu to show our styles gallery and then we'll select this option right here. Save selection as a new quick style. So that will open up a little dialog box that lets you give it a name. So BC heading and there's the preview and we can change it even further if we want to. If we click on modify here we get a whole set of options that we can choose from. So in this dialog box, the create new style from formatting dialog box, let's change my decision. Let's underline it as well. So there's the description, Arial 16 point underlined, shadowed, centered, uh, and this style is based on heading two. So your selection at the bottom is two radio buttons, only in this document or new documents based on this template. And that's exactly what we want to do. There's also some in the properties before we click on OK here. Again, you can change the name. The style type is that it's linked, it's paragraph and character. So this will change not only the shape of the characters, but it'll also change the paragraph style itself. It'll center that paragraph. And then style for following paragraph, etc. In the drop down box, you can base it on a different style if you want to. And then style for the following paragraph those changes can be made. But you probably won't want to do any of those two changes. Uh, you probably also won't want to do this one as well. You might want to make just a character, just a paragraph style, but most of the time I think you're going to choose the linked selection. So, discussed all that, the important thing in this is this one, the new documents based on this template, and click on OK. Now, if I create a new document, and notice here that BC heading appears in the styles gallery. Let's create a new document very quickly and this is a new doc. Now let's go to our styles gallery, hover the mouse and what happens? We get the exact same formatting that we saw before. Why? Because of course we've created a new style. Why is it included with this one? Because of that selection that includes this style with all new documents based on the normal template which this one is.